At 92, Angie Dickinson confesses he was the love of her life. At 92, Angie Dickinson is a legendary actress whose career has spanned several decades and left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Known for her beauty, talent, and versatility, Dickinson has captivated audiences with her performances in a wide range of roles, from television to film. As she reaches this remarkable age, her life and career continue to be a topic of fascination and admiration. Angie Dickinson was born Angeline Brown on September 30, 1931, in Colm, North Dakota. Her early life was shaped by the values of hard work and determination, which would later become evident in her acting career. She initially pursued a business career but found her true calling in acting after winning a beauty contest and receiving a guest appearance on The Jimmy Durante Show in 1954. This appearance launched her into the spotlight and set the stage for a career that would see her become one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Dickinson's star continued to rise. She appeared in a variety of television shows, including Gunsmoke, The Virginian, and Perry Mason. Her big break in film came with the 1959 Western Rio Bravo, in which she starred alongside John Wayne, Dean Martin, and Ricky Nelson. Her performance as the sultry and tough feathers earned her critical acclaim and solidified her status as a Hollywood leading lady. In the 1970s, Dickinson's career took another significant turn when she starred in the groundbreaking television series Police Woman. The show, which aired from 1974 to 1978, featured Dickinson as Sergeant Pepper Anderson, a tough and resourceful undercover cop. Police Woman was notable not only for its action-packed plots but also for its portrayal of a strong, independent female lead in a genre typically dominated by men. Dickinson's performance earned her a Golden Globe Award and an Emmy nomination, cementing her legacy as a trailblazer for women in television. As Angie Dickinson reached her 90s, rumors and speculation about her health and well-being began to circulate. Fans and the media alike were eager for updates on the beloved actress. Recently, Dickinson's close family members have come forward to confirm and address some of these rumors. They have shared that while she faces the challenges that come with aging, she remains in good spirits and is surrounded by loved ones who support her. Angie Dickinson's personal life is a tapestry of triumphs, challenges, and profound experiences that have shaped her into the remarkable woman she is today. Her journey is intertwined with her illustrious career, and it reveals a depth of character and resilience that has endeared her to fans worldwide. In 1952, while studying at Immaculate Heart College, Dickinson entered a beauty contest at a local department store, which she won. This victory led to a guest appearance on The Jimmy Durante Show in 1954, an opportunity that opened doors for her in Hollywood. However, before her career could fully take off, she experienced a significant personal milestone, her first marriage to Jean Dickinson, a former football player, in 1952. Though their marriage ended in divorce in 1960, Angie retained his last name professionally, a choice that symbolized a pivotal period in her life. Dickinson's second marriage to Burt Bacharach, the legendary composer and songwriter, was both a romantic and creative partnership. They married on May 15, 1965, and their union was one of Hollywood's high-profile relationships. Bacharach was at the height of his career, crafting hits for artists like Dionne Warwick and Dusty Springfield. Together, they were a glamorous couple, often seen at industry events and celebrated for their contributions to the arts. However, their marriage was not without its challenges. The couple welcomed their daughter, Lee Nikki Bacharach, known as Nikki, on July 12, 1966. Nikki was born three months prematurely, weighing only one pound, ten ounces, and faced numerous health issues, including visual impairments and learning disabilities. She was later diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, a condition on the autism spectrum. Nikki's struggles profoundly impacted Dickinson and Bacharach. Angie often stepped back from her acting career to provide the necessary care and attention for Nikki, demonstrating her deep love and commitment as a mother. Despite the difficulties, Dickinson and Bacharach's love for their daughter was unwavering. Nikki's health issues and the demands of caring for her strained their marriage, leading to their divorce in 1981. The heartbreak in Dickinson's life was compounded by the tragic death of her daughter. Nikki battled with her mental health throughout her life, 
and on January 4, 2007, she took her own life at the age of 40. This devastating loss was a turning point for Dickinson, who was left to grapple with grief and the enduring pain of losing a child. In interviews, she has spoken candidly about the sorrow and the sense of helplessness she felt, as well as the strength she drew from her memories with Nikki. Dickinson's openness about her daughter's struggles has brought attention to the challenges faced by families dealing with mental health issues, making her a source of inspiration for many. Throughout these personal trials, Angie Dickinson has maintained close friendships and connections within the entertainment industry. She has been linked romantically with several high-profile figures, including Frank Sinatra and John F. Kennedy, though she has often kept details of these relationships private. Her friendships with other stars, like Elizabeth Taylor and Marilyn Monroe, have been the subject of Hollywood lore, adding to her mystique and appeal. In her later years, Dickinson has found solace and peace in a quieter life away from the spotlight. She remains close to her family and friends, cherishing the relationships that have sustained her through the highs and lows. Despite the challenges she has faced, she continues to be a symbol of grace, resilience, and timeless beauty. Angie Dickinson's personal life, marked by love, loss, and perseverance, mirrors the strength and complexity of the characters she portrayed on screen. Her story is a testament to her enduring spirit and the profound impact she has had on both her industry and those who have followed her journey. At 92, Angie Dickinson has revealed some of the most intimate details of her personal life, sharing her profound and enduring affection for Frank Sinatra. In 2023, Dickinson openly stated that she had a 20-year on-and-off affair with the iconic singer, describing him as the love of her life and one of the most charismatic men that ever was. This revelation offers a glimpse into a deeply personal and emotional chapter of her life, one that was filled with passion, admiration, and the complexities of a love that spanned decades. Frank Sinatra, known as O.L. Blue Eyes, was one of the most influential and celebrated entertainers of the 20th century. His magnetic charm, exceptional talent, and larger-than-life persona captivated audiences worldwide. For Angie Dickinson, Sinatra was more than just a star. He was a man who left an indelible mark on her heart. Their relationship began in the late 1950s when both were at the height of their careers. Despite the public and private challenges they faced, their connection remained strong over the years. Dickinson's description of Sinatra as one of the most charismatic men that ever was reflects the profound impact he had on her, both personally and professionally. Their affair was characterized by its intensity and the unique circumstances of their lives. Sinatra's busy schedule and high-profile status, combined with Dickinson's rising career, meant that their relationship was often conducted away from the public eye. Yet, despite the demands of their respective careers, they found solace and joy in each other's company. Sinatra's ability to make Dickinson feel special and valued was a testament to his charm and genuine affection for her. Their time together was filled with memorable moments, from glamorous Hollywood parties to quiet, intimate evenings. In addition to her relationship with Sinatra, Dickinson's personal life included other notable romances. In the 1980s, she had a relationship with musician Billy Vera. Vera, known for his soulful voice and heartfelt lyrics, found a kindred spirit in Dickinson. Their connection was evident when Dickinson appeared in the music video for Vera's single I Can Take Care of Myself. The video, which showcased Dickinson's timeless beauty and charisma, also highlighted the chemistry between her and Vera. Their relationship was marked by a shared love of music and mutual respect, adding another layer to Dickinson's rich and varied personal life. During the 1990s, Dickinson dated Larry Kane, the famed radio and television interviewer known for his direct interviewing style and signature suspenders. King, who conducted over 50,000 interviews throughout his career, was as adept at charming his guests as he was his romantic partners. Dickinson and Kane were often seen together at public events, and their relationship was characterized by a deep intellectual connection and mutual admiration. King's ability to engage with people from all walks of life resonated with Dickinson, who appreciated his wit and conversational skills. Their time together was marked by lively discussions, shared laughter, and a mutual appreciation for each other's talents. Despite these relationships, it is her affair with Sinatra that Dickinson holds closest to her heart. 
The revelation that Sinatra was the love of her life underscores the depth of their connection and the lasting impact he had on her. It is a testament to the enduring power of love and the way it can shape and define our lives. For Dickinson, Sinatra was not just a lover but a soulmate, someone who understood her in a way that few others could. As Angie Dickinson reflects on her life at 92, her confession about Frank Sinatra provides a poignant and heartfelt glimpse into the love that defined her. It is a love story that transcends time, capturing the essence of a bygone era and the timeless nature of true affection. Through her candid revelation, Dickinson reminds us that love, in all its forms, is a powerful and enduring force that shapes our lives in ways both profound and beautiful.